Hello everybody, this is Dr. Novak again. The name of this video does anoxic filtration lower nitrates and update number five. Now really, that is not a name I made up, but a guy named Gil. And uh, he's from Gil's Fish Room. He's out of Australia. And he made a very recent video. So this isn't a video that's months and months old. This video is very recent within the last week or so. And he has been experimenting with the BCB baskets in his sump for his aquarium that has about uh, anywhere between 20 and 24 South American cichlids, uh, cichlids like uh, geophagus, for example, of some of the cichlids. I think he had some severums in there. I'm not sure. But anyway, in the video, he explains that he makes these baskets. He also explains that he's just a truck driver, ordinary guy, like everybody else. So he he has no skin in the game or anything using the ideas. When he did this video, it's not a very long video. You should watch it. I'll leave a link below so you can click on it in case you're interested in seeing what Gil has to say. And he shows you how to make a basket. He shows you what he uses for fluoride for his iron. He shows you in uh, Australia the kitty litter he uses. Basically, he's doing an experiment on his own. So he's testing out what I have said. And in this test, I thought was very interesting. Uh, I have no input in this test. You know, I do not know Gil or Gil's Fish Room or anything like that. I only found out about Gil's Fish Room through Google, Google Alerts. And anytime anyone says anything about the anoxic filtration system, Google alerts me. So that's the only way I found out, okay, that he did a video and he men mentions anoxic filtration. But in this video, he... He's testing out his nitrates. Now, nitrates, from my understanding, uh, are a problem in Australia. They're already high already, and it's hard to keep them under control in aquariums. So he's been doing this experiment with making BCB baskets or bags, putting them in his sump, and then seeing what the nitrate level will be after one week, two weeks, three weeks, four weeks, you know, without a water change. Now, this aquarium that he has, and he emits, he feeds them heavy, I think it was six times a week. On the seventh day, he doesn't feed them, like on a Sunday. But he does feed them heavy six times a week, so they get plenty of food, and they're growing very good. And everything seems to be healthy and everything else. Well, that would make sense. The guy's busy. He's a truck driver. and He's probably on the road a lot. Trying to make money, feed his family, you know, give his kids a good education. So he doesn't have a lot of time to spend. So he decided to let this aquarium go for like 30 days, no water changes. <clears throat> now, if I remember correctly, it went up to 30 parts per million. Now, some of us may say, wow, that's a lot. It, it, the nitrates went up with this tank full of fish. But for him, he said, after 30 days, that's very low. And you kind of think to yourself, wow, that's, that's considered to be low. At the very end of the video, and I don't want to give away what he shows at the very end of the video. So you have to watch the video. And I'm going to kind of keep that a secret so you do watch the video. At the very end of the video, he shows everybody the big boom, the big plant aquarium he has, full of plants and hardly any fish. And it's quite surprising to see the huge difference between a planted aquarium and an anoxic filtration aquarium. It's 
it's an eye opener because you start thinking to yourself, wait a second, what's going on here? You've got a plant in an aquarium. We're constantly told that uh, plants will use up nitrates and, and phosphates and everything else. And then you have another aquarium that really doesn't have any plants in it that uses an anoxic filtration system with BCB baskets. What would you expect to be the winner of the outcome? If you, and I mean, he's got a lot of plants in there. He's even got in that tank pothos, nitrate user. But he explains to you that barely has any fish. He does a water change in that tank every single week to try to bring down nitrates. But in the anoxic filtration one, he only does a water change once a month. I think that's was the whole gist of this whole video as if you use an anoxic filtration system, you can get by with doing less water changes to keep your tank stable than if you don't use it, even with plants, you're not going to get the same results as you are with an anoxic filtration system. So I just thought I would do this short video Watch the video. At the very end, is, 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 it was kind of shocking to me because he shows the tank. Hardly has any, it's a big tank. It's, I don't know, it's a 55 gallon or 75 gallon uh, aquarium. It's a, it's a good sized tank and just full of plants. And yet, the Nazi filtration system really shines a whole different outlook, outlook on what he is doing and why he is doing it. So I'm basically, I'm just letting you know with uh, my video here that you should watch it. After all, I do not know the guy. I never met him. Like I said, it's Gil, Gil's Fish Room. Like I said, I was notified through Google. So, you know, it's not like I watch his videos once a week or whenever he makes them. This was just something that, oh, uh, you know, someone's made mention of the anoxic filtration system on YouTube. That's the only way I found out about it. So, basically, watch it. See what you think. Uh, if you have any questions, then they should bring some to light. The, the ending is kind of shocking, especially when you compare the anoxic filtration system to a planet aquarium. So anyhow, this is Dr. Noyak. Short video. Thank you for watching. Don't get subscribed. And until next time, happy fish keeping.